Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I just have to comment that I've heard uh, some of my colleagues on the other side talking about Medicare uh, potentially going bankrupt. Uh, the Affordable uh, Care Act uh, extended uh, the solvency of, of Medicare, and um, I just find it very strange that um, we've, we've fought two wars on a credit card, and we've had Bush tax cuts for the wealthy, uh, Medicare Part D unpaid for. Um, we had uh, surplus uh, when Bill Clinton left office, and we could have used that to shore up Medicare. So um, I, I think that when we, when we kind of look at, at why we are in the trouble we're in, there's, there's a lot of blame uh, to go around on all sides. Um, first of all, let me, let me thank all of you for excellent testimony. Every one of you was uh, really uh, excellent uh, uh, testimony, and um, I think it's um, very, very important. Uh, this is an important uh, subject. I have so many questions, and I just have to kind of, uh, you know, c cut down. Uh, but let me just say, the, the SGR is obviously seriously flawed and needs to be permanently replaced. I, I really believe that uh, physicians deserve to be fairly and appropriately compensated for the important work they do, and the SGR formula is failing our, our physicians. I, I think there's, there's nothing wrong with physicians uh, wanting to be adequately and, and, and fairly uh, re reimbursed. and. Um, that's why I want to say that the uh, Affordable Care Act appropriated $10 billion in funding for the Center for Medicare and Medicaid uh, innovation over 10 years. Uh, I think that's very, very important. Uh, but I want to ask this question. All of us recognize the current fee-for-service model has resulted in an emphasis on procedures and quantity over quality of health care provided. Uh, I'm introducing legislation. One field I'm particularly interested in is palliative care and it relies heavily on care coordination and communication with patients. I believe they are vital aspects to providing quality care, but ones that are not properly incentivized under the current fee-for-service system and yet properly done, I think palliative care often saves money, extends life of patients, and gives them peace of mind. So let me ask uh, Dr. Dash, uh, Mr. Sirota, and Dr. Patel, what role do you see for palliative care as the health care system undergoes extensive delivery system reforms, and how can we incentivize the integration of palliative care professionals into coordinated care teams? Uh, Dr. Nash, I, I believe, uh, that, yeah, pa palliative care Dr. is uh, Nash, very, very, very important, yeah. and uh, we have programs within our plan to work with our physician community and the community at large in regard to improving care at that phase of life. <clears throat> it, you know, it's difficult to, uh, in a few mo minutes, talk about how that should be incorporated specifically into payment models. I think it's a broader dialogue in regard that uh, on a community level that many communities across the country have been successful with. Yeah, this is uh, an important issue for us, and we do have a number of plans that have programs in place to uh, help members uh, with advanced illness. Uh, as an example, our Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield plan in Virginia has an integrated uh, cancer care medical management model, uh, which uh, is at its core trying to uh, provide improved access to palliative care. They, uh, uh, members who receive uh, timely access to palliative care generally achieve a better quality of life uh, during these end states, lower costs related to end of life treatment and acute uh, hospitalizations. They employ skilled, uh, skilled care management nurses, decision support tools, medical director support, uh, and it's a comprehensive program. We also have a similar program in, in Pittsburgh with our Highmark plan that, in fact, uh, provides coverage for uh, uh, consultative services to its members uh, with palliative care professionals to ensure that that care is appropriate. We think it's an essential element and often overlooked. So we appreciate your attention to it. Thank you. Dr. Patel? So very briefly, the concept of a patient-centered medical oncology home is exactly alluding to the kinds of services you're referencing, specifically palliative care. Oncologists right now are caught up in the same quantity over quality system that we all have to be reimbursed in. And in moving towards a coordination type fee, oncologists have already put forward ideas and are practicing palliative care referrals as well as palliative care medicine in the space of their cancer patients. Thank you. Let me get in one quick question. Um, as part of the Affordable Care Act, Medicare started paying primary care physicians a 10 percent incentive payment. And it's my understanding that more than 156,000 primary care providers have benefited from this. Now, 
I, I'm curious to see what efforts are being undertaken in the private sector to incentivize physicians to practice in primary care. So perhaps, Mr. Sirota, Dr. Nash, can you elaborate on how your organizations are working to encourage physicians to go into primary care? Sure. We, uh, we have done similar things. We have uh, increased the rate we pay primary care physicians. An example in, in uh, Philadelphia, our Independence Blue Cross plan doubled uh, base reimbursement to primary care physicians, increased it. <coughs> Uh, paid out nearly $37 million additional dollars in 2011. Uh, Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield has uh, announced a major investment in strengthening primary care, increasing revenue opportunities, bumped the fee schedule by 10 percent, including payments for non-visits, uh, <coughs> essentially care coordination, preparing care plans, managing patients with complex conditions, uh, and also have shared savings models for quality improvement uh, and reducing costs. So the, the whole concept is partnership with the primary care physicians to uh, improve their access to uh, additional funds, provided the outcomes and the uh, improved safety uh, is present for our members. Yes. And <clears throat> those physicians in our program who commit the time and energy to work over the period of time towards the principles of the patient Center medical home, we put on our payment model as described, which uh, reimburses at a rate that is 20 percent higher in this global model than they were receiving fee-for-service, and they get another opportunity for a 20 percent performance-based bonus, uh, which, uh, you know, has attracted a lot of attention among the physician community. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.